this is an extremely exciting day for Plant City. And I have to tell you that I am personally tremendously excited to be able to come up here and talk to you for just a few minutes about what Hillsborough Community College has been able to do, is able to do now, and will continue to be able to do in the future to support the economic development of Plant City and the uh, Hillsborough County region. Uh, right now, Plant City's uh, campus here in Plant, uh, the, the Hillsborough County, uh, Hillsborough Community College campus in Plant City has about 5,000 students. We belong to an organization with over 40,000 students among five campuses across Hillsborough County. So uh, we are a very uh, large and vibrant piece of the community. So what does a community college do for you here? What does a community college do for you anywhere? The most, most visible thing that I think people see from a community college is the two-year part of a four-year degree. We do that here, and we do it very well. Uh, we support economic development for the region. We even here on the Plant City campus have uh, the career source facility for Hillsborough County, which is just the most convenient uh, uh, asset in the world to have on a community college campus. We also do have enrichment opportunities for the people that live in Plant City. It's important for the families, the retirees, uh, the people who are just looking for something to do. Uh, it's, uh, we, we, we provide everything from yoga classes, the genealogy, to just anything else you can imagine. We also do a lot more. We support those individual learning needs, and we support the needs of people trying to retrain in new skills. Um, Let's say uh, you're, you're running a distribution facility and you need truck drivers, you need them fast. You can come to us and we can provide those truck drivers for you. We can put together a program for you that will, that will get you CDL trained people within a, three, or within a four to five week period and have, you have them on the road and have that pipeline open for you for as long as you need it. We provide certificate programs that provide short term training opportunities for people who, who want to train in skills like welding and automotive repair. Uh, all of those things we can do. If we can't do it on our campus, we have it on other campuses, and we can import and export those skills as necessary. So for the next couple of minutes, I want to introduce Dr. Ginger Clark, who is our Vice President for Workforce Development, and she's going to tell you a little bit more specifically about what we, how we can meet those workforce needs. Thank you. Good morning, um, and thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here. I told Dr. Clay that he was uh, running a great risk by inviting me, because once I start talking about workforce, it's hard to to get me to stop, but I promise I will stay on time and, and keep us on schedule this morning. Um, and let me see if I can work the technology here. Whoop. There we go. Let me just give you sort of a broad overview of the workforce division at HCC. I think sometimes um, one of the things we hear in the community is that we do not do a, a good job of telling our story and what we are about. So hopefully when you leave today, you'll have a sense of what that story is. Um, we are one of the largest uh, workforce divisions in the state of Florida in terms of community colleges. We offer over 160 different degree and certificate programs. I've provided you with a sense of what the, our largest programs are, including the health sciences, information technology, engineering, and business, as you might imagine. And certainly those growth areas are also aligned with what you are seeing here in Plant City in terms of high demand uh, growth occupations. We also offer certificate programs that are less than two years, but which provide students with high value certifications in a particular industry. Um, it's, interest, it's just really interesting to me how you look at economic development in a region and you look at your training programs, and there's so much symmetry there because one of the things that's happened at HCC in terms of growth and specialization is in the transportation sector. We have a workforce center now which features uh, programs in automotive services technology, um, also um, a, bu a bus transit technology program, uh, automotive uh, repair and recovery uh, type businesses. And we're also in the early stages of uh, talking with a, a major national employer about an automated people mover system uh, in which we'll also provide training out of this same center. So the transportation sector is really growing for HCC and will continue to do so. Um, also, we have, a, I think I mentioned the welding program, which was a partnership that we did with the Port of Tampa and also Tampa Tank, really driven by their needs here in the local community. And then one of the things that I think people also may not realize is that HCC trains the majority of first responders in this region. So if you, and I hope you don't end up in the hospital, but if you do, my guess is, 
Just ask the nurse or the EMT or the paramedic, and chances are they will have been trained at HCC, and we're very, uh, very proud of that. But let me take uh, just a final few minutes here to talk about some really specific types of training programs that we are currently engaged in, and I think they exemplify the ways in which the college reaches out to the community to determine what are the labor force needs, talking with those employers directly, and then bringing other strategic partners together. Um, just a couple of years ago, CareerSource conducted a skills gap analysis in the area of manufacturing. Based on the results of that survey, the Hillsborough County EDC, uh, along with Hillsborough Community College and the School District of Hill Hillsborough County and manufacturing employers came to the table to begin talking about what are the specific types of employees that are needed in these manufacturing firms, what are the skill sets that are required. Based on that and based on the collaboration among all of us, we are developing a manufacturing academy. And this will begin by targeting students as early as the eighth grade because one of the real challenges we all face is changing the perception of manufacturing. Um, it's not the manufacturing of the 60s and 70s, but it's advanced manufacturing technologies we're focused on. So it's about changing mindsets related to manufacturing, not only among students, but also parents, and then creating career pathways where those students can move from the school district to HCC and then on to USF for a four-year degree if they so choose. So we're very excited about that partnership and all the collaborators who are at the table. One of the other types of training programs we're currently involved in and, and strategic partners that we have uh, includes USF and the Center for Urban Transportation Research. They approached us about three years ago and uh, indicated that there was a great need for entry-level transit technicians across the state. And they invited HCC to develop a curriculum that would uh, meet that training need. So we sat down with the folks at Cutter, sat down with the employers at the regional transit agencies, and we developed the first statewide curriculum in bus transit technology for the state of Florida. Currently, HCC is training uh, the entry-level employees for three of the five regional transit agencies across the state of Florida. We're very proud of that and hopefully expanding it to all five here very soon. And then finally, um, I couldn't talk about workforce development without talking about our partnership with TECO because it is one of the longest and I think most productive partnerships that we have had. And what happened here was, um, was quite simply, TECO approached us several years ago and said, we would like to um, facilitate the attainment of degrees for our employees who maybe do not have that yet have that two-year degree or four-year degree and we sat down and we put together a program whereby HCC delivers an accelerated AS degree program at the TECO site. They have classes every night. They have classes on Saturdays. And it's just a joy to go to their graduation to see these people in their 30s, 40s, and 50s who are earning college degrees now. And, and we've taken that TECO model, and, and that's what we call it. And we are now uh, transitioning that model to other employers in the region. So I share these three examples with you uh, both to just give you a sense of what we're doing at the college and how we're responding to local, regional, and statewide needs, but also hopefully conveying to you that we are very dynamic and innovative. If you have a need, we will sit, sit at the table with you. We'll talk about your desired outcomes in terms of a labor force, and we will put together a program that will produce successful outcomes for you. So I thank you for your time this morning, and I would certainly welcome conversations with all of you. Thank you very much.